Okay, guys, we are back, and, oh, gosh, this might have been my stupid mistake of today. So we went to war against the uh, Chinese, thinking that we would have the support of the mighty British behind us, because usually the British are not inclined to joining wars, and because they would usually be more advanced. So you would think that they would actually be able to fight, but no, they didn't. So now we're sending our own little army to go try to go save some of our colonies. But, how likely is this going to work? Probably not very likely. And apparently we got engaged to some kind of Chinese... Okay, um... Dock up... Ugh, dusty. Go back. Just go back. Yeah, it seems like they... Seems like the Chinese actually engaged us. Yeah, just go back. That's what I said. They actually had an army coming after us, so we're just going to have to retreat. Uh, wow, I didn't actually expect them to have an army sent after us, and this was a really fool's errand. And now we're going to gain basically nothing from this war, and we're going to waste a lot of our time in this war. There's a lot of things that just, like, went wrong right here, and that was one of them all the time we're about to waste in this war because they're not gonna they're apparently not gonna let us go they're just gonna keep us there for as long as possible so that kind of stinks um the french are expanding exponentially we're losing i'm trying to get out of the war as quickly as possible just just declare peace like peace treaty wise declare like a multitude of peace but apparently i can't do that the good thing though is that if they do try to take any more land from me, the British will have to join in because it is status quo. Okay, and the British definitely don't want to join in this war. So, yeah, the Chinese, the Koreans are all the way over here. I, I can't even believe they, they made it all the way over here to my land. But they're all the way over here in my land, which means I can instantly destroy them. Go boat bomb them, please. Like for me. Go boat bomb them. <laughs> Don't you dare tell me they're gonna lose. Thank you. And boom. That was the first battle we ever fought. Should give us some good enough war score. Maybe that will get them out of this war. No, they're going to they're gonna persistently attack me until until like they until I give up or something else happens. Look at they're not luckily they're not going after my other colonies. Which are good. They only go after one, which is good. But they're gonna conquer all of that place over down there, all of Johor, and I might actually lose Johor to them. It would not be shocking if they added a value of, you know, Johor losing its basic province. Let's see, do you guys want what do you guys want right now? You guys want jinduism, pacifism, moralism? Yeah, I'm giving you guys all that. I'm being very jinduistic! Uh, a little bit too jinduistic in my opinion. Let's get some basic good schools. Okay, and I can't get out of this war, which is really starting to stress me out. Um, the AI just wants to be in this war for a little bit. I guess maybe it's like, maybe they're just trying to prove something? I don't know, but... The British have completely not gotten into the colonial idea this time in Africa, so that means... Potentially, we could have a gigantic France take over everything, which doesn't appeal to me very much. I mean, I, we should be seeing some colonization over here, but why are the British not doing it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, whatever. Let them eat cake, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we just, we did a sappy move, and now we can't get out of it. We, we seriously stuck in this war and we can't get out of it. Okay, there we go. You guys satisfied with the war now? China, you satisfied? You pro you proven to me that I am I went a little bit over my head. I got a little bit too big for myself. You guys have proved that to me. Can I get out of this war now? Uh, can we get back to nice, peaceful trading? Really, you guys are going to keep sending troops over here and I'm just going to keep annihilating them. So, get all my troops. Go send them right here. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna. You guys could prob probably siege up everything in my other land, but not next to my. Not right next to me. There we go. 
There we go. Destroy. Boom. Get back on the boat. Get back here. And now we got everything ticked down down there. I think we're almost running out of things of economically importance to do. Because we're running out of things to, like, improve our economy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Liberals have gained more power again. Oh, uh, that's good. But also, uh, meetings, public meetings allowed. That way we can keep, keep, like, the clone, that way we can keep the uh, system we created up and live. We defeat another da Nam soldiers. <laughs> oh gosh, wow, we're losing so much money from this. Okay, I, I admit it, you guys win, now please get me out of this. Okay, white piece. White piece it. Uh. Oh, by the way, everyone, the Empire of Mexico formed. Wall the Empire of Mexico again. Okay, I'm making sure they don't have any other land they're trying to conquer. Uh, no, they seem to be very, very peaceful right now. Uh, except for over there right next to my colony, but I can't really help them out over there. Mm. And if they try to get this land, I'm going to have to say no to them because I actually do need that land. And apparently Japan won the colonization efforts over here, so they're actually going to be colonizing Indonesia a little bit quicker than they usually do. Hmm. Quite interesting. Over here. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I am in a really bad situation. And Belgian Africa. <laughs> gosh dang, Belgium Africa. I never thought I would say I've seen Belgium Africa, but... Belgium, Africa. Oh uh, my goodness. The Belgians are probably going to be the biggest people expanding because no one else apparently wants to this time. Only France and Belgium are going after it. Which is weird. And I'm trying to get out of my money wo woes right now, but it's not working. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh man, I am in a serious bad situation. I'm getting destroyed by by the uh, Chinese and I can't get out of this I'm trying to I'm seriously trying to get out of this w w please rejected our generous offer of white peace well, you guys aren't even offering anything oh guys come on just accept white peace accept white peace accept white peace we're not gonna you're not gonna gain anything I'm not gonna gain anything it'll be a perfectly validated option so no one loses anything no one gains anything okay White piece. Oh gosh, I'm losing so much money. <laughs> I can't do anything about it, too. Oh, why did... No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. The Kumba African, whatever this is, is not going to be in power because that just killed my economy. You are going to be out of power as soon as I have a chance to get you guys out of power. Because that just killed my economy, what you guys just did. I wonder why my economy is failing. I can't tax my people to the utmost I want them to. Okay, and France is ex Oh my goodness, France is going to be so big in this now, isn't they? Aren't they? Because the British are not- Why are the British not challenging them? Oh, there they are. They expanded just a little bit, I think. Maybe not. What are the British doing? Ah! Uh, are they colonizing the islands? Is that what they're doing? No! What are they doing? I do not understand! Oh gosh, I'm so lost. Japan apparently conquered the rest of this, which means they have a good amount of rubber and oil. Which is good. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, they have a good amount of sulfide, precious minerals. Good. Uh, and after they want it, okay, they have all the other outside colonies. If they want, oh, there's the British. There's the British. I was waiting for them to come over here. Okay, so there they are. British Najed, all these kind of guys. <laughs> okay, so the British are in this. Good, good. I was getting kind of worried there, like, seriously. Like, they were not doing any kind of colonialization. I was insanely worried. Um... Yeah. <laughs> also, apparently, the Ottomans just keep a really good alliance. The British have now conquered all of Najed. Najed. Uh, I don't think I'm getting invaded anywhere else in terms of colonial wise. I don't think... Yeah, they keep they keep trying to attack me with the army right there. But I just keep destroying them because I'm more advanced nation. Okay. 
Let's go to right here. Let's go right here to do what? And go boat bomb them. Boom. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go send my troops right over here. And just kind of parade right over there. So that they don't... So they can stop sending men inside the colonies that keep annoying me. Okay. King managed to remove you from the sphere of the... What? Huh? Wait, what? So wait, I'm actually an independent sovereign nation right now? Sweet! <laughs> okay, so I'm not friends with the British anymore, which is kind of disappointing, because they were kind of my friends. And that really is bad, because... I really need to get out of this war, for heaven's sakes. China, you proved it, you proved it. Okay, you proved, you proved to me that I would not be able to defeat you. Now can we get off of this now so I can go do other stuff? Hey, And they have more men coming. They're really not going to give this up. So I'm just going to keep my soldiers right over here. Destroying whatever kind of forces try to come over here. All right, I'll build, a, I'll build a navy right here. Just build me a small frigate. That should be enough to destroy whatever they have. Tax efficiency goes up again. Uh, centralized bank. I'm taking, I'm taking down all this really quickly. It's also because I'm also having really good literacy rate due to how good our literacy has gotten. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, divide up the boats. Just divide it half. I'm gonna go send half of our army to go deal with the uh, invading Koreans. Oh gosh. Well, I two things I didn't expect. One, I didn't expect us to actually be free of the British power. We, and that means we kind of lose a good amount of um, influence over a lot of stuff. But, yeah, that means are we potentially becoming a... We could potentially become a sphere of the uh, Russian Empire. Ooh, wouldn't be bad, it just wouldn't be great. And to tell you the truth, why have you, why have you not formed... Wow, that's really kind of stupid. They should... Prussia should really have control over all that by now, but they don't. So let's go put half of our men onto this boat. Uh, and go send them to go destroy. Okay, just go divide evenly. Have you guys divide evenly. Let's go destroy these guys, finally. Oh gosh. Oh, by the way. Should probably be supporting our men. <laughs> there we go. Trouble is brewing with Hungary, and there we go, and there we go. So now we got 15k men just sitting there, kind of relaxing, and now we got the entire sea blocked up, so they can't send in more men to come, you know, terrorize our troops. And yeah, we're basically protected, except now we got two enemies, because this is kind of a terrible position now we're in. Now that the Russians have ripped us out of that sphere. That's kind of a terrible position. Um, can we please get can we please get out of this war? China, are you just not gonna get me out of this war? Ay. Eventually your war exhaustion's gonna kill you. I'm just gonna say that now. Eventually. Uh gosh, China. You guys uh so that means wait, maybe then maybe Russia would want to be allies with us? No. All because of the current war we're in. So, no, but Having them both potentially as good friends in terms of conquering would be kind of nice. Uh, factory output really good. Intervene immediately. And then our literacy rate is also insanely good right now. Uh, we could spend some money to go help them. This isn't good. Sad state of affairs. I can't really help that. We're making 2000 right now. So that's really good. We're going to pay off all of our debts first. Once we can pay off all of our debts, then I think I'll start increasing everything again. We went bankrupt, guys. The sad state of events because we can't get out of this stupid war. China is being an ear. You guys win. I already, I already, you guys won. Okay, I already admitted that you guys won. Now please get me out of this. Okay. Um, Britain's apparently doing some stuff. Harassment in local elections. Jerry man doing probably be a little bit better. Um, gosh dang it. Ah. 
See, I don't know why they're keeping me in this war. I'm not really in any threat to them. So let's just pick up this army. Since I obviously can't get out of this war right now, let's just increase what we need to. Okay. We pay back all of our debts. Okay. And we're just gonna go after. We're just gonna go after one of our colonies. Okay. That's the thing. I can't. Like, seriously, this is kind of stupid. I can't, like, get out of this war to, like, say I was wrong. It's like this bad, it's like bad, um, transmission or something. Just keep getting our economy better. And actually, our administration power in all of our colonies should be pretty good right about now. Apparently not. Apparently only in our state capitalist places do we actually have good economies. It's kind of bad. <laughs> but our tax efficiency is doing really well. We're building up a good, strong economy again. Just kind of do some stuff. There we go. Wow, education just costs us a ton. Let's keep education down a little bit. Administration power, we can probably go to about 30%? 29, 30%. Our loans given. Well, we give out a lot of loans. Brazil. And there we go. There we go. All right, there we go. We're making actual profit again with a semi good economy. Not exactly the greatest ever, but it's okay. Um, we're sending some troops to go do something against the, Ch the Chinese Japanese, the Chinese Korean Danam Alliance. So I'm frankly getting a little bit sick of them just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, what we'll also do is we'll also build a little bit of troops in uh, Africa. Two, three, one, two, three, wait, three, one, wait, one, and then one, and then one. I decrease that, there we go. Wait, I still feel like I just messed up something. Yeah, there we go. We didn't need those, we needed this. Okay, that should create our new army right there. Should be really happy for us. Yeah, we are. F the good thing though about this entire thing is that we are free of the British right now, which means we are. We could be increasing our economy by a lot, which is nice. That really is nice. I'm not even gonna deny it. It's really nice. Tax efficiency going up. More people are wanting more social benefits. I'm guessing. Uh, state control, gerrymandering. Let's get gerrymandering so that people can actually vote a little bit better. Beliefs must be respected. Okay. Let's actually try to go conquer back some of our land, too. Probably not on the mainland, because I just realized that'd probably kill us. We just lost two ships. Kind of sad. That's still somehow carrying, like, five soldiers. That makes no entire sense, but okay. Okay, we lost everyone in that battle. Yeah, I have nothing to say to that, people, except I'm an idiot. So, we're stuck in an infinite loop of war where the... I think it's because I have to do something to them, or otherwise they don't really register it in their big brains that I'm doing something to them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go send these guys down here, pick up an army down there, and we'll, from there, what we're going to do is go invade over here. Okay? I have enough manpower to do stuff, so... Maybe that will actually register as doing something to them. Get right here, combine all these guys into a big gigantic army force. So we actually have a, an army to actually say something. After we just lost five soldiers in a pff, relatively stupid way. Uh, we also have a an absolutely no cavalry army right over there. That kind of sinks. So let's see, get all you guys together. We're making a lot of money for the fact that we're doing absolutely nothing. Let's... Oh my goodness, my my rich! The rich! Holy shoot, the rich are actually paying for a lot of my stuff right now. I love you, rich. Like, seriously. You guys are actually producing a lot of my stuff. Hmm. Why did I not tax these guys sooner? Okay, so let's just get right here. I think we're just missing the cavalry men right now. And that's... Seven... So we're going to need uh, 8, 9, 
uh, Milwaukee. 10, 11. There we go. Build those ships. Yeah, it seems like I'm going to have to fight my way out of this, but you guys are going to have to wait till next episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.